Welcome to the sixth annual Global Connected Aircraft Summit in sunny San Diego, where we bring together airlines from across the country and the companies that provide their connectivity. Come with us as we share with you the insights and best practices from the movers and shakers in the industry. Welcome back. We're uh, walking around the exhibit hall floor. We came across CMC Electronics with Alex here and uh, wanted to find a little bit more about his company. So um, before we dive in, um, Alex, just tell us a little your name and, and the company and what you guys do. Okay, so my name is uh, Alex uh, Wynn Benager. I work for CMC Electronics. CMC Electronics is uh, over 115 years old. We've been building a lot of avionics products, providing cockpit integrated solutions. And one of our product line is the AIS and connectivity solutions, so aircraft information server. So I'm a product manager and marketing manager for that product line. Great. So Alex, how does CMC differentiate itself amongst uh, the other players in the industry? Well, I think there's uh, different ways in which we differentiate ourselves. Uh, I would start by the way that we approach customers. So rather than trying to sell a product and, and focusing on how, why is this product the best, let's say, uh, we'll rather sit down with the customer. Uh, we prefer to really understand their needs, their challenges, the inefficiencies that they're facing and their daily, daily challenges basically so that together as business partner, we come up with the, the right solution for them. We have a wide range of uh, products and application that we can offer, but we also have a very strong uh, engineering team that allows us to really develop and tailor solutions to their needs. So that, that's one aspect. I would say the other one would be the flexibility that we offer. Uh, our solution is very flexible in a sense that from going from configurability, we offer a high level of configurability so that the, the, the operators can tailor the installation uh, and the operation of our system to their operations. And we also offer an open platform. So they can, for instance, host their own applications on our server, which is a secure open platform that supports uh, Docker containers that supports virtual machine uh, that supports C sharp add-ons and whatnot. So you can only imagine now we have a server that's integrated with the avionics that have access to all this data, and now you can have application taking advantage of this data. So this opens uh, the door to a lot of creativity for our customers, allows them to differentiate themselves from their competitors, and gain a competitive advantage. And last, I would say security uh, is also a strong uh, point for us. Uh, we've been fortunate to work with large OEM and operators that allowed us to, and these operators and customers, they had wide range of use cases on how they wanted to use our system. So we had to go way beyond the regulatory, uh, the regulations requirements, but also we had to meet all the requirements to be able to deliver the objectives that the customers were looking. So we really have a end-to-end -end secure solution. And even if you look at the design of some of our servers, you'll find a segregated piece of hardware that is dedicated to security. It's your first level of um, a firewall. So everything that comes in or goes out of our system is really needs to go through that, that first layer of hardware firewall. And that offloads the security responsibility uh, which is a high task demanding task from the main processor. So the main processor can really focus on what it does best, which is running application without compromising performance. And it's not only about delivering a secure solution today, but also ensuring that the security will remain throughout the product lifecycle. To that means uh, we provide capabilities for customers to deploy uh, rapidly, remotely, wirelessly to the fleet data applications, but also security updates so that you're secure throughout the product lifecycle. So you, you talked a lot about um, security there. Uh, what's the position on data ownership? So data ownership, data privacy is a, is a big uh, topic uh, these days when you go to the conference. The operators are very vocal about it. With regards to ownership, I think it's clear whoever generates the data should own the data, be the owner. In terms of privacy and concern about sharing the data, uh, we can understand their position. I mean, the data contains a lot of uh, operational data, tells a lot about how they operate uh, their aircrafts. And the sharing part is also they don't want to necessarily provide third party the ability or they don't want third party to take, to make a business out of their data. Uh, our position is really we're there to enable them to access as much data as possible, but also give them the proper tools 
and resources so that they can um, take advantage of this data while keeping it under their control. Now you do have some organization uh, that do not have or have not the desire, the interest or are not organized to take the data analytic parts, take, take care of that. So we're there to support them. If they're willing to share some of that data under the right conditions, we can also provide turnkey solutions where we provide data analytics uh, services um, so to help them improve maintenance, uh, operations, and, and improve safety. Great. Well, lastly, where do you guys see the connectivity, your connectivity solution evolving to? So already for many years, we've been capturing data, uh, storing it, offloading it. You know, when you reach the ground for post-processing analytics. Uh, where we're heading, I think it's more and more onboard processing. So application that can take real-time, deliver real-time value uh, of this data. Uh, already we can offer uh, solutions that will monitor the health of the system, inform uh, the flight crew if there's an issue with the system, what are the possible cause for this issue, and what are the recommended corrective actions that they need to take. We also deliver, uh, provide access to real-time operational information so they can optimize their operations and also upon landing, they can access uh, the data that they've generated throughout the last flight to minimize their turnaround time. These are just examples, um, but we're gonna continue to build on that capability and really deliver what customers are after, which is really more real-time decision-making, real-time actions. Um, also, where we're moving towards to is more and more being integrated, more closely integrated with the avionics. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, CMC, we're a manufacturer of FMS, GPS, all sorts of avionics uh, components, displays, that come antenna to name them. But we also offer integrated cockpit solution. And now the AIS is a part of that solution and it glues everything together. It allows to leverage and build on the synergies of different avionics component to offer a wider range of capabilities. So I think where we're heading is really to be more integrated for seamless operations um, throughout the uh, airline's uh, ecosystem. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.